right, so welcome everybody to Majora Park. I'm here with the legendary Australian champion, two-time Monster Energy Supercross champion, Chad Reed. Your first time here at uh, Majora Park? Yeah, my first time. I Obviously, I'd seen video, and that clearly doesn't do it any, any justice, you know, like a lot of the hills and uh, this drop-off right behind us here doesn't, uh, doesn't look quite as big as that. So you've had a chance to ride the track here. What's your thoughts? There's been some changes to the track here in 2016. Yeah, I mean, the track feels fun. I mean, uh, I like to consider myself as old school. It's not a GP prep, you know, prep track or AMA national prep track. It's just what I call old school Italian, and, and I think that's fun. You know, that's the year I was here doing uh, GPs. Every time we went south of France or to Italy, it was just always just rock hard and took a unique riding style. It wasn't just, uh, you know, the, the normal that we get. So for me, it's kind of refreshing to come and have a challenge. Some of the sections on the track are new, some of the track sections are old, like the massive drop off here at the big beginning part of the track. Uh, what's that like on a motorcycle to come out of the turn and launch down that hill? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like you, you rode it yesterday, it's it's not like you come out, you, you know, you're barely on the throttle coming out and, and you drop halfway down. So uh, I'm glad that I'm getting the chance to ride here in 2016 and not in 86. Um, Certainly, the, the year suspension I started, on your Yamaha would have been much better. Exactly. So now I'm, it's uh, much better now than. I'm happy to uh, do this 30 <laughs> years later. So, uh, yeah, I couldn't even imagine going down there on an '86, you know, bike back in the day. Do you have any memories of the of the Motocross of Nations here? Have you ever watched the uh, the 1986 race? Have you ever watched it uh, on video or seen photos? I've seen a little bit of more pictures and things like that. Um, you know, since uh, since announcing that they're going to have another one 30 years later. Um, you know, I see the pictures, but unfortunately, growing up in Australia and, and only 86, I started racing. I was four years old, so um, it was a little bit before my time. Now, you've represented Team Australia how many times in the nations? It's been a good My first time 10, was in 2000, um, you know, and for the most part, um, I've missed a couple, but um, been pretty, pretty wide open at it since then. So, you know, over the last 16 years, it's, um, you know, maybe... I've missed five of them or something like that, so maybe I've done it, you know, 10 to 12 10, times. times. Yeah, yeah, 10, 11 times, something like that. So it's always an honor. Um, it's an event that you look forward to, I think. It's it's always a lot of work, but I think uh, for the most part, it's so rewarding and it's fun. And um, the fact that I spent a year here in Europe doing GPs, uh, it's always nice to come back and see some friends and uh, familiar faces. So I love the event. And specifically, Tell me about what the atmosphere is like at a Motocross of Nations event. It's so special because each rider is riding for their country and the fans come from all over the world. What's the opening ceremonies, opening laps, things like that like? You know, I think backing up a little bit, I think one of the things is, you know, that for me, um, and I'm sure it's the same for, for everyone, is when you show up, you know, you're, you're showing up, like you said, as a team. You know, there's three individuals on a team that are, uh, typically competing against each other on a regular basis or um, you know love each other hate each other whatever that may be um, and then suddenly you're, you know you're jumping on airplanes jumping in rental cars staying in hotels spending you know basically a good part of a week um, hanging out with somebody that you're talking you know typically there thinking oh man I want to kick this guy's butt you know and, and now you're, you're sharing information and you're all on the same page um, and you you kind of find out wow that guy's He's actually kind of cool, you know, for that one moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I remember my first time, um, you know, Michael Byrne, Andrew McFarlane, um, you Which know. Which were two re really I, close I don't know friends. that I would, yeah, I don't know that we, I would class that we hated each other, but we, we certainly um, didn't hang out. We weren't friends. Um, and then to show up at Donations and think, wow, you know, like Berner and Andrew, like pretty, they're actually pretty cool guys. And, um, you know, it changed the perspective of what you and how you looked at racing. What should the riders expect for the upcoming Motocross of Nations here at Majora Park in 2016? Track, atmosphere, etc. I think the atmosphere is always consistent at the Nations. You know, it's uh, the air horns, the flags, the, you know, the, the passion is always at an all-time high. So, uh, you know, I think that that should, should obviously be expected. For me, I think the track, you know, like coming yeah, as an AMA uh, regular, I, I think the track is gonna be the biggest uh, challenge. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's unique. It's, it's what I would like to call old school 
European GP Italian style track and something that we at least you know like I said I've been doing donations for the last 10 11 years and and I've never been to one like this so um, it's going old school and I think that that's uh, perfect fitting for you know a 30th anniversary of an event French team last year was amazing um, for a long time America has had some had some uh, winning streaks but right now it seems to be very very uh, competitive. Do you have a, would you have an early prediction right now? Um, I mean, my early prediction is, is uh, you know, I mean, it's hard to go by the the French team. I think right now is is quite strong. As you know, the donation is it's not about an individual uh, performing at his best. It's about a uh, a team and three guys coming and showing up on Sunday and uh, performing to their best. And I just think it's hard to go past. Uh, the French team at this point. Um, my opinion is I don't believe um, you know that there's a whole lot of teams that have that complete package on a racetrack like this. Yeah, it's certainly competitive. What do you, what do you think this place would be like if Tony Carelli whole shots the first moto? Yeah, I think, uh, and it's very, very uh, possible. Possible, yeah. Uh, all the GPs I see is either one or two or um, you know, all the ways up there. So. Uh, yeah, Tony's a good guy and obviously had a lot of success and, um, you know, I don't know that he has the, the complete team to win the overall, but uh, one individual can, uh, can motivate a team, uh, especially in their home race. So uh, I think for me, I think, you know, as a, as a neutral guy at this point, um, it'd be cool to see those guys competitive here.